Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about biosynthesis of membrane phospholipids. Now, before I start my video, I wanted to tell you that my courses are also available in Unacademy, which is India's biggest learning platform, which are more elaborate. And if you wish to join these courses, you can use my code AP10 for a 10% discount. So let's start the video. So when a cell divides from one to two cell, you can imagine the cell need to produce a hell of a lot of membranes, right? In order to make the membrane of the new cell, the endoplasmic reticulum for the new cell. So a lot of membrane biogenesis has to be done alongside with the replication process and all of the division drama that the cell need to uh, do, right? So membrane, bio membrane lipid biosynthesis is a very important process for any cell's physiology. Or think about a situation where the cell need to grow in size. In that situation, the cell need extra membrane, right? In that situation, membrane lipid biosynthesis is a very important process. So the cell membrane is composed of mostly phospholipids out of many types of lipids. Mainly they are phospholipids. Now it has a hydrophobic tail and a hydrophilic head. Now, in a detailed structure, we would understand the head has a group, a polar group, a glycerol backbone, and two hydrophobic tails, which are composed of fatty acids, are hanging out from this glycerol backbone. But how all of these components that we just right now talked about are actually assembled, where they are assembled, and how they are delivered to the membrane. So first of all, let's talk about the structure. So the hydrocarbon tail is actually derived from fatty acids and fatty acid synthesis is taking place in the cytoplasm. So there is a steady state supply of fatty acids in the cytoplasm. Now the glycerol is actually derived from glycolytic intermediates. And also in the membrane, in the cell, there are choline or polar charge group like serine, ethanolamine, etc. present, which can be added to the growing phospholipid. So we can talk about that in this video. So stay tuned till the end. So first process is a fatty acid biosynthesis, which is always taking place in the cytoplasm. So the raw material for this is acetyl-CoA, which goes out of the mitochondria. And in the cytoplasm, it forms malonyl-CoA with the help of the enzyme acetyl-CoA carboxylase, not shown here. But malonyl-CoA and acetyl-CoA sort of condense on fatty acid synthetase complex, which is a huge complex. On top of it, acetyl-CoA and malonyl-CoA condense with each other and followed by several reduction and dehydration step, they form fatty acids. Now these fatty acid chains are available in the cytoplasm for attaching to the glycerol backbone. So the next question comes is how the glycerol is derived or the glycerol 3-phosphate is derived. So we know that in glycolysis, from glucose, glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxy acetone phosphate is produced. Now, from dihydroxy acetone phosphate, in an enzymatic process, glycerol 3 phosphate could be generated. Alternatively, glycerol 3 phosphate can be generated from glycerol with the enzymatic help. Now, once glycerol 3 phosphate is generated, it can be converted to a 1 acyl glycerol 3 phosphate. That means, like in one carbon position, there is an acyl group addition and this acyl group actually came from the free fatty acid that are present in the cytoplasm. Now there is a sequential addition of another acyl group which would ultimately create phosphatidic acid in the cytoplasm. Now all of these acyl group transfer reactions are carried out by acyl transferases which are very important enzymes in this process and acyl transferases enzymes are present in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum in a moment we would look at that but it's a very important step in this reaction ultimately the phosphatidic acid would be the phosphate group of the phosphatidic acid would be chopped off by phosphatase which is also present in the er membrane smooth er membrane and diacylglycerol would be formed which is an alcohol with two long fatty acid chain and it is embedded in the membrane now, on top of diacylglycerol, there could be addition of the polar group. Now, since 
any biochemical reactions need to be understand understood from the context of a cell biology we need to look at what happens exactly on the smooth endoplasmic reticulum membrane so here you can see it's a smooth endoplasmic reticulum membrane in pink you can see it's a smooth endoplasmic reticulum lumen and the white side is the cytoplasmic side so first the raw material or the raw backbone material is a glycerol 3 phosphate which is combined with the fatty acid which is already present in the cytoplasm and it is synthesized in the cytoplasm now these two are getting combined to each other by the acyl transferase which are present in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum membrane and this is a rate limiting step of these reaction and it is very important because these whole uh, phospholipid biogenesis pathway can be modulated by modulating these two enzymes then phosphatidic acid is produced a phosphatidic acid's phosphate group would be chopped off using a phosphatase enzyme and that would ultimately give rise to diacylglycerol which doesn't have that phos uh, phosphate group other than that diacylglycerol is exactly similar to a phosphatidic acid backbone now diacyl diacylglycerol would be eventually combined with polar head groups in this example choline phosphotransferase an enzyme which adds a polar head group and forms phosphatidylcholine. Now this is a polar head of the, uh, phospho, uh, the phospholipid. Now phosphatidylcholine, the choline part is the polar and the membrane, the, the fatty acid chains are actually hydrophobic in nature. That's why they are deeply embedded and interacting with each other with the hydrophobic force. So all the process of biogenesis of the uh, fat, fatty acid fatty acid is taking place in the cytoplasm and the overall process of making membrane phospholipids is taking place on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum as if the raw material is already present in the cytoplasm derived from glycolytic pathway and derived from fatty acid biosynthetic pathway and they are assembled on the membrane of smooth endoplasmic reticulum and that is how this important biosynthetic pathway takes place inside our cell. So I hope this video was super informative. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. And let me tell you guys something that I have a second channel for those who prefer Hindi as a language and especially these are dedicated to Indian people. So if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, do check out this channel and subscribe. And for now, if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.